Jumpa lagi kita dalam Didik TV bersama dengan yeah. saya Afiq Shazwan dan saya Wani Kiri. Okey, jadi hari ini kita nak sambung sebab macam tadi kita uh, dah belajar bagaimana nak menguasai kertas bahasa Inggeris bahagian kertas satu. satu. Mm -hmm. Dan sekarang kita nak sambung ke bahasa Inggeris kertas, kertas dua. dua bersama dengan guru pakar kita. Ya, yeah, kita akan bersama dengan Cikgu Suryati dari SMK Setapak Indah Zon Keramat Kuala Lumpur. Uh, tapi sebelum tu kita nak bagi tahu lah subjek Jack kertas dua ni dia meliputi um, seperti novel, comprehension, ada poem dan pelbagai lagi. Ya, yeah, kalau nak tahu dengan lebih lanjut, hmm. mari kita bersama dengan Cikgu, Cikgu. Su. Assalamualaikum Cikgu. Waalaikumsalam. Cikgu dah bersedia Hello. awal dah kat situ. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Hello Wani, hello Afiq, hello. hello students out there. Yes. Yes. Tengah dia Cikgu dah bermula berbicara dalam berbahasa Inggeris. Right. Ah, itu dia. Jadi Cikgu, tanpa kita muang masa, let's start our lesson today. Okay. Okay. English language paper tu. Alright. Okay, basically I'm going to share with you, okay, uh, the format for paper 2 and then uh, I'm going to touch on quick tips. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, I'm going to also share about popular words, phrases in context, mm -hmm. common mistakes that students do and we are going to, we are also going to try uh, to answer the questions. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so paper two, uh, the full mark is 70 marks, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for section A, we have multiple choice questions, 50 marks. Section B, we have information transfer, mm -hmm. 10 marks. Section C, we have reading comprehension, some end summary, 25 marks, the most mark for paper two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finally, section D, we have literature, poems, and novel. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Next, okay, so I'm going to share with you, I'm going to touch here and there mm -hmm. uh, on the format and then we're going to try because we have so many things to share here. Okay? Yes. yes. Paper one, uh, section A, okay, consists of 15 multiple choice questions. Mm -hmm. You are given A, B, C and D. Mm -hmm. So one uh, question carries uh, one mark, mm -hmm. okay? So questions are given in a form of graphic materials and short text, mm -hmm. eight questions. And then we also have rational clothes, seven questions. What is this? I'm going to share with you after this. Mm -hmm. And then um, each question for uh, rational clothes will be given A, B, C or A, B, C, D. And please, please, please do not exit 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this paper is only two hours and 15 minutes. Yes. And you have a lot to cover. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so far so good? So yes, far good. good. All right, <laughs> now let's see. Questions one until eight. Okay, graphic materials and short, short text. text. Okay, for graphic materials, the favorite one, the popular questions mm -hmm. that will come out uh, is about advertisements. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you have you always see McDonald's uh, posters, promotions, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. those will be us here. Okay, mm -hmm. we also have tables, graphs, charts and many more mm -hmm. okay many types it, it will be everything that you see around you okay, okay. and then we also have short text mm -hmm. so short text are usually will be taken from books extracts you know, from books mm -hmm. we have letters we have articles notices signage proverbs mm -hmm. or idiomatic expressions so this mm -hmm. will be uh, the hot question usually okay, okay. All right. Ah, see. Mm -hmm. So these are the tips for answering. You want to score section A. You have to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Number one. Please, please, please read the question. You don't read the question. How can you answer that? True. Yeah. Question. Right? Yeah. Okay. So when you read, you have to analyze. Mm -hmm. When you analyze, you have to make sure uh, what is it that you are looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need to underline the. The keywords. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. That's our students. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then once you identify the keywords, you have to underline it to make sure you know the focus of the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. You not yet read the extract. Okay. Okay. Uh, the stimuli. You will only focus on the question first. Mm -hmm. All right. Then once you underline the uh, keywords, mm -hmm. you will read the stimuli. 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 Okay. okay. And then once you have read, you know what, what to focus on. Mm -hmm. Try to match the keywords with the stimuli. You will be able to find the answer. Okay, okay. that's the tips for yes. answering. Okay. All right. So the let's next see. One. Okay. Uh, Okay, this is the famous one. Almost every year, mm -hmm. okay, there'll be a question on advertisement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my advice is to familiarize yourself with the context okay mm -hmm. what are the words related to advertisements mm -hmm. okay uh, and then always tre uh, train yourself to read the headline why do we need to read the headline because the headline is 
like the main context of the advertisement very good okay mm -hmm. because the headline is actually giving you the general idea mm -hmm. what the advertisement is all about yeah okay mm -hmm. you get it right I, okay yes. so next time make sure you read the headline first okay, okay. and then only you continue with the information mm -hmm. all right okay and then I'm gonna, you're gonna you're gonna study A B C D, mm -hmm. and you're gonna choose the best answer. answer. Okay, now let's okay. try. Afik, can you read the question? Okay, question three. Ten okay. Oh, 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 oh. What's the first thing that I asked you to do? Read, oh, the, read the question. Yes. Okay, the advertisement says that mm -hmm. your smartphone just got smarter now that it's also your automated teller machine, ATM card. Mm -hmm. You can get cash from selected local banks by just using your connect your connect mobile app at the ATM. Okay. Enjoy the enjoy this cardless service 24 hours a day. Okay. okay. So now, what is the keyword that you need to know? What is the focus of the question now? I think smartphone use automated teller machine. Is, is used as automated teller machine. Okay, mm -hmm. where is the evidence? Where is the line that tells you that? Hmm. hmm. The line number three. Line number three. One, two, three. Easy connect, connect mobile app. So you're talking that uh, the smartphone now can be used as the ATM, the ATM mm -hmm. card. card. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, the uh, the keyword here is uh, we're gonna analyze one by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. A. Look at A. Smartphones can be connected to. Any ATM. ATM. Oh, sorry. All right. No. The keyword here is the word any. any. Do you think any ATM will accept this app? No, because no. from selected local banks. Yes, very good. You can see the keyword here. Only the selected local, local banks. banks. Okay. What about B? New bank new? cards. So the keyword here is new bank cards. Can you find any idea of new bank cards? Mm. Mm. No. Is there anything talking about new bank cards here? No. No, right? No. So definitely wrong. Wrong. So the one that is wrong, confirmly wrong, 100% wrong, you cancel it out. Cross it. Okay. okay. So now you have C and D. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the keyword in C. Payments can be made using the Connect Mobile app. Okay, so the keyword mm. in C is the word payment. Payment. So can you find anything that tells you about the payment? No, no. because you can get cash. cash. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's the idea, right? Okay, so you are actually get cash. cash. So another word for get cash is withdraw. 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 So the answer is D. 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 Yay. Very good. Like so that's app. my student. So okay. now do you understand the concept of keywords? Yes. yes, teacher. What about the students out there? So are you guys okay? Okay. Okay, okay. okay they said okay. They said okay. <laughs> All right. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Okay, can we continue? Yes. yes. Of okay. Course. The second famous question that will come up for section A, mm -hmm. usually about tables, graphs, mm -hmm. and charts. charts. Okay. So of course you have to study the question, right? Any English question, mm. you have to study the yes. question, question because it's a foreign language. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you are studying the uh, the question, of course you have to find out. What, what is, is being, being asked? asked. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you know what is being asked? By looking at the title and the subtitle, subtitle of the data. Mm -hmm. Okay, then once you are you are clear with what the question is want, uh, wants from you, mm -hmm. and then uh, before that, okay, before the exam itself, mm -hmm. you have to know this. Familiarize yourself with commonly mm -hmm. used, used words. Okay. words. Usually, uh, the words related to tables, mm -hmm. graph, charts. Highest, mm -hmm. lowest, average. Mm -hmm. Correct or not? Yes. Okay. What about dr drastic increase, decrease, decrease decline, and drop. drops? Usually, the question about tables, graphs, and charts, we, you will see these kind of terms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you can see here a lot of terms here, right? So, yes. you have to study. You mm -hmm. have to familiarize yourself before SPM. Kita okay. so, masuk so, short text ya, teacher? Yeah, short text mm -hmm. now. Okay, short text can be uh, an extract from magazine, mm -hmm. newspaper, articles, reports, encyclopedias, anything. Oh, okay. okay. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. All right. So, of course, again, what's the keyword for English? Read the, the question. question. Okay, very good. You are getting it. Okay. So, now, let's see. Again, mm -hmm. SPM question. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, what's uh, what's the first thing you need to do? Read the question. Very good. So the keyword here is best, best summarizes. summarizes. So you need to summarize the whole thing. There's mm -hmm. no title, there's no headline. How can you find the answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By looking at the option. Okay, then you try to find the Evidence. Evidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is basically for those who have challenges in understanding English. Mm -hmm. Okay. They can practice this step. They mm -hmm. can practice this. Okay. Look at A. Okay. Any one of you? Alfie or Abwani? Okay. Art. The benefits of taking it up as a hobby. So the keyword here is? Benefits. Benefits. Mm -hmm. So when you read, of course, you need to find, is there any word related to the? Benefits. Benefits. Okay, the second one, the keyword here is develop. develop. Okay, earlier, mm -hmm. third one, making it from, from what's available. available. And finally, helping, helping children, children to appreciate, appreciate it. it. So we mm -hmm. have this. So what, the moment you have analyzed the question, you need to find the evidence. Yes. So let me answer for you because mm -hmm. we don't have time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the keyword here is making, making it from what's available. available. So any idea, anything that you can find here. So hmm. this is the line. Use whatever materials. They already have around hmm. them. So the answer is C. C. Okay. okay. So yeah. Even yeah. though the text is long, mm -hmm. there's ways to find the Answer. Answer. Itulah dia. Baiklah, mm -hmm. untuk sebelum kita teruskan ke peringkat seterusnya, mm -hmm. sekarang apa kata kita rehat terlebih dahulu, mm -hmm. kita sambung lagi selepas ini semuanya dalam Didik TV. TV. Jumpa lagi kita dalam Dede TV. Jadi sekarang kita nak teruskan lagi bersama dengan Cikgu Su. Yeah. Sila dengan Cikgu. So far so good? Yes. yes. Where are my students out there? Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So of course, they are good. Now, uh, the fourth uh, favorite questions that will come out in our in SPM exam mm -hmm. is proverbs, idioms or cartoon strips. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, again and again, I've been telling you in order to answer the question, what do you need to do? Read, Read the, the question. question. Very good. You are there now. Okay. After you read the question, of course, you have to decide and choose, choose the best statement. statement. Okay, now let's see what is the question. What will the question look like? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no sample. It's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll continue it's with okay. rational clothes. Okay, questions 9 to 15. 15. Okay, so this part basically uh, focus on grammar mm -hmm. and vocab. Vocab. See, grammar and vocab. vocab. So mm -hmm. two major things for close questions, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Of course, here you have to, again, tense subject verb agreement. Mm -hmm. what, is that? what does it mean by subject verb agreement? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Any idea why any? I forgot, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the glamour name is subject verb agreement, mm -hmm. but the, no the normal name that you know is singular and Plural. Plural. So this, the, the name. this is the registered name mm, for okay, this. Itulah dia baru empat tahun, ya? Kita refresh balik, minda kita yes. juga. So this is actually the formal name, but mm -hmm. we know it as singular or mm. plural. plural. We have prepositions, articles, and everything under grammar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next. Okay. Uh, in order for you to answer this question, of course, you have to identify the tense. tense. The tenses, okay? Whether it is in past tense, or, or present, present tense. tense. Okay, how do you identify whether it's in present tense or past tense? By mm. looking at the verb. Verb. Okay, look at the verb for the first three sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. The second one, of course, you have to know your grammar knowledge. Okay, rules whatever, wherever possible. And mm -hmm. number three, uh, if unsure of answer, use the elimination method. Meaning, you know that's not the answer. Cancel out. So leave out with only the correct choices with you. Okay. Okay. okay next, let's see. So this is what we call rational clothes. clothes. Okay, now tell me, how can you identify the passage is in present tense or past tense? Hmm. Look at the verbs, right? Yes. So where is the verb in the first line? Is. Is, very Tag good. Words, so is. this is a helping verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. in English we have, uh, for, for SPM level, you need to know at least two verbs, mm -hmm. two kind of verbs. Motion verbs, yang bergerak, mm -hmm. okay, movements. Or this is helping verb. We call helping it as helping verb. verb okay? Mm -hmm. helping we have verb. is, we have are, are, we have was, and we have were. were. Okay, so clue number one is this one. Okay, can mm -hmm. you find another verb? Hmm. The second sentence, is there any other verb that can help you to ensure this is a present tense 
text. Present tense. Mm -hmm. mm, I is is a signal of present tense, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So another signal is the word does. Does. And the third one is in sentence sentence three again is. is. So definitely it is in present, present tense. tense. Very good. Okay. So now let's see the question. Afik. Tiger Woods. <laughs> He's a hero in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does not matter that he mm -hmm. born in the United States mm -hmm. and cannot speak a word. Okay. Thai. For mm -hmm. most people in Thailand, it is enough that his mother, Kultida, mm -hmm. is Thai. When he visited Bangkok 1997, they gave him a welcome at the airport, okay. greeting him with Oh. Or, mm -hmm. girls were holding banners proclaiming, we love you. We love you. Okay, yeah. now, look at <laughs> number nine. Mm -hmm. We know this is present tense, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, Tiger Woods is a hero in Thailand. So, this is present tense. Okay, but this sentence, it does not matter that he, something here, born in the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it born, was he uh, born at that time or before that? Before that time. So, what do you think the best answer is? I think want to try? <laughs> he was. He was? Okay, why is it was? Why is it not is? Because it tells that Tiger Woods was born in, in Thailand. United, in the United, United States. States. Okay, Sorry. so the clue number two is because this is singular. So definitely number three, SC is wrong. wrong. Have also? Have. Wrong. So the answer is? Was. Okay. Is, is it was? Very Yay. good. Yay! Afiq is there. Yay, Yay. Afiq! Afiq is here. <laughs> okay, what about number 10? Number 10. And cannot Born speak a word. State and cannot speak a word. In. In Thai? In Thai. Okay. Sure of the answer? Mm -hmm. So this is preposition. By preposition. in or on. Mm -hmm. This one is singular pro subject, but agreement and tenses, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Off. Oh, the answer is off. off. Okay, because we are talking about language. Off oh. So this is uh, okay. the question that students will be confused. Always. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so in order to solve this problem, yeah. you have to do revision on prepositions. Okay. Preposition. Okay. Okay. Preposition. Prepositions. Kata? Kata sendi. Kata sendi. Kita belajar bahasa Inggeris, kita tahu bahasa Melayu dia apa. Yeah. <laughs> Itu lah je. Preposition. That's good. Preposition. Kata sendi. Okay, next section. 10 marks. We call it as information transfer. transfer. So 10 short answer questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, the, you'll be given uh, in the form of text, mm -hmm. in the form of graphic materials. It yes. can be anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your job is to transfer the information correctly. Yes. Okay. And of course, do not exceed 15 minutes, minutes. because you don't have time. much time. Okay. See, always starts with read. Read. Mm -hmm. You have to read the. Okay. But this time, you have to pay attention to the instructions, instructions. because mm -hmm. the instructions will tell you what you need to do. So you have to highlight the important words. Okay, mm -hmm. The important words here is the word limit. Word limit. So now we have the word limit. Mm -hmm. They will tell you okay, how many words are allowed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the question only requires you to give one word answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yes. the second favorite instruction is uh, you need to find the answers from the stimuli given. Mm -hmm. So you have to know what you need to find. Okay, uh, of course, you have to study the stimulus, stimulus. Yes. find the clues, mm -hmm. okay, and transfer the relevant information. information. And the most important thing is spelling. Spelling, mm -hmm. yes. Accurate spelling. spelling. Wrong spelling? Deduct marks. marks. Very good. <laughs> you get the word now. Very good. Okay, so this is a sample. Mm -hmm. SPM 20, uh, 2017, SPM 2018. 18. Okay, so they give you clues like this, stimulus like this. They give you stimulus like this. Mm -hmm. They give you a statement. You need to find the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. All right. So this is uh, one type of questions that, will, that they will ask. They will ask you questions in the form of graphic organizer, mm -hmm. paragraph, dialogues. It can be anything. So mm -hmm. basically, you need to know many things. Yes, <laughs> right. that's <It's> right. <laughs> very good. OK, so this, OK, look at the instruction, like I told you just now. OK, Ibrahim is going on a camping trip using mm -hmm. words from the leaflet. So you can the only leaflet. find 
the answer from the leaflet. You cannot mm -hmm. give your own answer. Yeah. And the second one, only one word. One word. So very mm. important for you to highlight the keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you accidentally write two words, mm -hmm. okay, two words, zero. Zero. Okay. It's so you are wrong. wrong. Yes. Ooh. Because you don't follow the instructions. Instruction. So that's how important it is for you to read the instructions. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so far so good. Noted. Yes. Not it. Good. Okay. Next. Section C, huh? Okay. Pay attention to this because <laughs> this has the most marks in paper. Two. 25, 25 marks. 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 is a lot, teacher. Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot in paper too. So we have comprehension and we have summary. Summary. Okay, so uh, the latest pattern in SPM questions, mm -hmm. they give you a question uh, in a form of a text, of course, a text, okay, mm -hmm. in a form of narrative. Narrative. Means, what does it mean by narrative? Mm, narrative. Narrative is another word for story. Story. They give you a story. You read a story. You have to answer uh, the question. The question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comprehension questions and also summary question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, you have to understand the text. Text. And you are advised to spend uh, around forty-five. Minutes. minutes only. Okay, remember okay. you have to be careful. Okay, Afi, can you repeat how many marks for section C? 25 marks. Very good. How many marks for comprehension? What do you think? When you still comprehension remember? Is ah, do you still remember C, kan? 25 marks. Yes. <laughs> reading comprehension and summary. Okay, hmm. reading comprehension, 10 marks. 10 marks. 10 marks. And the rest goes to summary. Summary. Question. Okay, uh, a few tips. Okay, to answer a uh, reading comprehension part. Okay, uh, try not to answer in a uh, in a complete sentence. What does it mean by not in a complete sentence? Because you, sometimes students tend to copy, mm -hmm. to take exactly from the paragraph and put as their answers. Copy sometimes paste. the whole paragraph is there. Mm -hmm. So definitely it's wrong. Okay, okay. definitely okay. it's wrong. Okay, choose only. The relevant, relevant parts. parts. Okay, how do you know it's relevant? This is the part that answers the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Second thing, you can use phrases. Okay, and you can use words depending on the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, um, I always tell my student the questions are already there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to rewrite the question, right? Yes. It's there. Don't <laughs> waste your time rewriting the question. Mm -hmm. Just straight away give. The answers. answers. Very good. Okay. Be careful with the pronouns. pronouns. Okay. Because you are not in the story. Mm -hmm. It is somebody else's story, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So try to avoid me, I, my, mine, we, us. Again, mm -hmm. depending on the question. question. If the question allows you to use this, then it's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, uh, they, uh, they will not allow you to use I, me, my, mine. Okay. I always tell my students that I, me, my, mine. We as our as our mm -hmm. okay the formula so okay. they will know okay and we also have hot questions mm -hmm. what does it mean by hot questions dear high order, order thinking, thinking skills. skills very good okay mm -hmm. the answer should be logical okay mm -hmm. you cannot go uh, you cannot give everything under the sun okay yeah. it must be logical, logical. logical. okay <laughs> uh, some clues okay usually if the question is about a person okay the answer will be in a form of if the question is asking about reactions, okay, something that you have to do, the answer will be in a form of verb, a verb, motion mm. verb. Okay, so far so good. Still good. What teacher. about the students out there? Are you still Yang with me? Yeah. Adakah anda okay? Saya percaya anda masih bersemangat. Uh, sebab oh, ni kertas dua. Masih tulis ada yang ambil notang. Okay, bagus. <laughs> Kekalkan bersama kami. <laughs> okay, next one. So this is the sample for SPM 2017. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you, okay? This is the text given. Mm -hmm. Six to uh, 800 to 1,000 words. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are given the questions and summary question. Mm -hmm. Okay, in order to answer this part, first thing first. Read the summary question. Okay, why? Read the summary question. Yes, read the summary question first. Before you do mm -hmm. anything else, read the summary question. Okay, mm -hmm. jadi sekarang apa kata kita rehat terlebih dahulu? Yeah, kita bagi cikgu kita rehat dulu, cikgu. Okay, ha. ha. cikgu dah masuk, dah bahagian ni tapi tak apa. Kita tunggu dulu, kita Alright. akan berjumpa lagi lepas ni bersama saya Wani Kerry. Saya Afif Syazwan, semuanya dalam Didik, Didik TV. TV.
Bertemu lagi kita dalam DJ TV. TV. Baik, jadi sekarang mari kita bersama dengan Cik Gusu untuk teruskan hmm. sesi pembelajaran kita. Okey. Okay. Okay, sekarang kita... Sorry, now we want to answer summary okay, question. Okay. Okay. We want to continue with uh, the most, I mean the marks here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to answer summary question. You have to understand the text. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before you start reading the long text here, mm -hmm. you can start by reading the summary question. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do you need to write summary, uh, read summary question first? Okay, because usually they will give you the idea of mm -hmm. the whole text. Okay? okay, the question will give you the general idea mm -hmm. what the text is all about. Mm -hmm. So when you read this, oh, you will know you will read about this after this. Yeah. Okay. The second step is read the question. Question. Ah, read the question. Okay. So after you read the question, you will have you will know that you will have to focus on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. The best part here for this section, they give you the guide by telling you the paragraph number. So you know the answer yes. is in that paragraph only. So you mm -hmm. don't have to worry, right? Yep. Yeah. By hook or by crook, you will be able to find the answer. Okay. So you are given the guide here. So well, you have to be careful when you read the text later. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, frequent uh, questions uh, in reading comprehension. Okay. Mm -hmm. RC is reading comprehension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually they will ask you to explain. Okay the writer's view or the writer's opinions on certain issue mm -hmm. or they want you to explain words correct or not yes yep. okay sometimes words sometimes phrases or sometimes one word mm -hmm. can find a word, word. okay mm -hmm. or sometimes they want you to draw conclusions, conclusions. Mm -hmm. and finally the last question usually Personal. ask you to give your, give own, your own answer. answer what do you think if you are given this correct mm -hmm. or not yes. okay so next okay try let's try you don't read the whole text, but when you read it uh, according to the paragraph mm -hmm. given, you will be able to find the answer. Okay. Okay, okay now let uh, one of you read. Okay, uh, let me read from paragraph one. What two activities did watching television prevent Jeffrey and Maria from doing? Okay, so the keyword here is? Mm, activities. Very good. So activities, it can be in a form of what? Adjective, mm. noun, verb. What do you think? Activities. Let me try. Adjective. Uh -huh. Adjective is uh, you are describing a person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now the keywords are activities. activities. Oh, it is verb. Yes, very good. So usually the answer will be in a form of a verb. Verbs. Verbs. Okay. Uh, verb means something that you do with, mm -hmm. with, uh, some, with your hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, so you know your focus is to find the activities. The activities. activities. Okay. Now start reading the. Paragraph. Mm -hmm. Three years ago, Maria and her husband Jeffrey, Jeffrey gave up watching television. television. Anything to do with the question? Mm, no. No, not, not yet. yet, right? Yeah. Okay. So they agreed that television did more than just emit low grade radiation. Anything to do with the activity here? Mm. Remember, your keyword here is what two activities did watching television? prevent them from doing mm -hmm. okay, because they watch TV so much they cannot do this yes mm -hmm. so that's the idea of the question mm -hmm. so now which uh, which uh, line tells you the answer from the whole passage take some time to read okay which one which word tells you uh, related Activities. to an activity passion for, for reading. reading okay so you are telling me passion for reading okay mm -hmm. is passion an activity no I uh, know so the correct word will be Reading. Reading. So this is the answer. Mm. This is the answer. How do we write the answer, teacher? One word. Reading. Or just reading? Yeah, because the question, obviously... Activity. Yes. Oh. Just give us the activity. That's mm. it. Okay, what, if, what if you give another another option? What, what are other options that you have? Another mm. way of answering, okay? So passion is not the activity, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe one of you answered uh, reading books. Is it acceptable or not? Is mm. that an activity? Yes. 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 So still acceptable. Okay. As long as you answer the activity. question Activities. of activity. Okay, right. okay, the next activity. The next activity is their dream of creating an organic vegetable. Okay, so you're telling me this line, right? Yeah. Okay, mm. so which one tells you the activity? The activity is creating. Creating an organic vegetable. Yeah, so that's the answer. With the garden. garden. So that's the answer. <laughs> and how about if... We just put the creating. creating. Creating what? 
creating and organic vegetables. vegetables. Yes, you have to have until the garden. wet garden. Oh. If you mm. forgot to put this, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Creating a, a garden. A garden. A garden. Mm -hmm. Okay, you put creating a garden. Still acceptable. Oh, okay. The idea of creating is there. Creating a garden All is right. there. Mm -hmm. As okay. long as the activities are there. As long mm -hmm. as you answer this question. Mm -hmm. So far All so right. good? Still Clear? Good? Yes, I understood. Wow. Right. Okay. All right. So this is the second question. Okay. Okay. So read the question. From paragraph three, what impressed local residents about Jeffrey and Maria's garden? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the keyword in the question? What is it that you need to find? Impress. Impress. Okay. Local. What impress you, right? What impress, impress. Local, local residents? Local residents. Yes. So the keyword here is what? What? Okay. So now must be something. What is something, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you have read the paragraph, mm -hmm. okay, look at number one. Okay, just by reading the sentence, they, they began. began tidying. Tidying is an activity. So, does mm -hmm. that answer the question? Activity. We are searching for what? What? What does it mean by what? Um, upper. What? Upper. Uh, upper. Yes. Upper. So, is this answering the keyword what? No. No. So, is this correct? Wrong. Wrong. wrong number answer. one is wrong. Yes. Yeah. So what about number two? The stunning flowers. flowers. Answering the question what or not? What? Yes. Yeah, so that's right. The answer. Okay, okay. What about number three? Their garden has stunning, stunning flowers. flowers. Idea comes through or not? Are we talking about the garden or are we talking about the flowers? Hmm. Hat. The keyword is hat. Hat stunning. So, correct or not? The garden has stunning flowers. So the focus is on the garden or the, on the flowers? Garden. Garden. But mm -hmm. does the garden tell you uh, it has stunning flowers? It has flowers? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. Yeah, OK. And the answer is? Flowers. Yes, flowers. See how simple is that? Simple. Senang. That's the how we <laughs> analyze the answer. Yeah. Yes. How important it is to read the question. question. So this is actually half Hot's question. Mm -hmm. All right. Hot. So they gave you a phrase statement. However, for Maria, it was not all plain sailing. sailing. Line twenty-five. I'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Okay. So how far is this true? We have to see. For Maria, it was not all plain line sailing. Line twenty-five. Okay. Good. Okay. Here, line twenty-five is, is here. Okay. It's here. However, for Maria, it was not all plain sailing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, starting from here. Okay. So now, how can you find the answer if you are given this type of question? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite difficult, oh, right? This true? You have to put some thinking here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you will you will need to look at the sentence before mm -hmm. and the sentence after. After. Okay. So the answer is that Maria struggled to get used to Jeffrey's loud music. Mm -hmm. so Jeffrey played loud rock music yeah, instead. So she has to. Uh, get used to it. Okay. okay. So if you are given this type of question, make sure you read the sentence before and, and the sentence after. after. Okay. Next. Mm. Okay. Ah, so this is the last question for summary. Mm -hmm. eh, sorry for comprehension. They will usually ask your opinion. Mm -hmm. okay. Our opinion. Yeah. Okay. Students. Okay. How okay. do you know it's your opinion? Because you have the word you. How do you? Do you? Because you have the word you. So you know it's your own. Opinion. Answer. Okay. Remember, for Hot's question, the keyword here is it must be logical. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let's say you are given this question: How do you think Maria and Jeffrey's friends, okay, mm -hmm. reacted when they first decided to give up watching television? So you imagine you are their friends. Mm, what yes. is your reaction? Wani, I want to give up watching television. What do you think? In my That's, opinion, okay, as a friend, I will be happy. Okay. So <laughs> acceptable. Okay, then you have to give a reason. Mm -hmm. Why why do you feel happy for her? Because they can start doing things they love. Okay. What about this? I will support. Sometimes the grammar is not that accurate, but mm -hmm. for this part, as long as the idea comes true, mm -hmm. they will get the marks. Oh, so okay. at least try to answer. Do not leave it blank. Alright. Okay. Right. Mm. Jadi sekarang kita dah dapat dah sedikit mm. tips daripada Cik Gusu. Mm. Bukan sedikit ya, banyak, banyak sebenarnya. sebenarnya. Dan mm. cara-cara untuk kita analyse all the answer sebelum kita menjawab. Baiklah, jadi sekarang apa kata kita rehat terlebih dahulu mm. dan kita jumpa lagi selepas ini. Jangan ke mana-mana, semuanya dalam DJ TV.
kembali lagi dalam Didik TV bersama saya Wani Carey. Dan saya Afiq Shazwan. Dan kita bersama dengan Cikgu Su, Cikgu Bahasa Inggeris Kertas 2. Dan jom kita teruskan dengan cara menjawab Kertas 2. Okay, now we are talking about summary question. Mm -hmm. 15 marks. marks. Okay, the allocation of marks, content, 10 marks, language, 5 marks. So the total is 15, 15 marks. marks. All right. Okay, what is a summary actually? Hmm. So it is a shortened version of the long text. Okay, mm -hmm. you you have read eight to one thousand words of passage. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to shorten it to become only hundred thirty words in one paragraph. So mm -hmm. that's what it means by a summary. A summary should only be short mm -hmm. and precise, accurate. Okay, and then consists only main points. We don't want any examples. We don't want any elaborations. Mm -hmm. Straightforward. Okay, and then you can get marks for language if you use conjunctions, conjunctions or connectors. Correct. Okay, what type of conjunctions? Okay, you can use fanboys. What does it mean by fanboys? Fanboys. Okay, so fanboys. this is the formula for conjunctions. Okay, F is for, mm -hmm. A is for N, N is for nor, B is for bo, uh, but, but, O is for or, or, or Y is for yet, yet and S is for so. so. So if you use conjunctions in connecting your points, mm -hmm. your language mark will go up. Oh, okay. Okay. So because here in summary we also give marks for compound sentence mm. and complex, complex sentences. sentences. So the formula is very easy. You want to come up with a compound sentence, you use fanboys. Fanboys. Okay, you mm. connect uh, you, but the idea must be the same. Mm -hmm. Point one and point two, you uh, combine them using fanboys. Mm -hmm. Fanboys. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we have connectors. Next, then further. So this is all for language marks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we also have so these are the things that you have to cancel out when you are writing your summary. Mm -hmm. You cannot have examples, elaboration, lengthy explanations, mm -hmm. figurative language. What does it mean by figurative language? Hmm. Figurative, figurative language. language. We language. have uh, uh, you mm. are beautiful like boon. Oh, uh, we don't okay. want that in okay. summary. Okay, we don't have dialogues. We don't want dialogues in your summary. Adverbs, she runs quickly. We don't mm. want quickly. We, we just want to know the idea that you run. Mm. So she runs. That's it. Basically, summary is all about shortened Shorten, the words. Condense. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. All right. And then right. repetitions and opinion. You cannot put in your own opinion mm -hmm. in your summary. Summary. Okay. And of course, in one paragraph, not in point forms. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that you have to remember. Okay. Okay. Favorite words common words for summary question okay the word problems so problem yes the word problems though and then what are the words for problems we have challenges obstacles, obstacles difficulties, difficulties. Mm -hmm. are all the same idea as problem problems. problems so you understand the, the word problems you understand the word so they're, they're all based uh, on the same context yes mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then we have the word did did favorite right yeah did is a Verb. Verb. So you know when you want to find the content points, you will focus on the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're very clear now, right? The verb. Yes. Okay. Steps. Okay, and then. Overcome. So those are the things that you have to pay attention when you want to answer summary question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see. SPNC 2018 again mm -hmm. did become challenges. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Passage summary. What they, they did. did. What they did. Mm -hmm. so, if you understand the basic concept, you will be able to find the correct content Answer. points. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. There are many Whoa. ways of answering summary question. We have group, we have brief, brief. Okay, we mm -hmm. have bright, we have... Okay, ni apa? Oh, how wow. to pronounce how this? How to pronounce this? Boskia. 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 What is this? Okay, because these are all catered for different level. Good mm. students, you can uh, you can try Brube, you can try Bryce. Mm -hmm. uh, average, you can try Brave. Uh, this one is for the ones who have challenges in English. Mm. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to show you this one. Okay. Interesting, right? Yep. Very. Okay, the technical part first. Of course, you know that you cannot exceed 130 words. Mm -hmm. So the best way for you not to waste your time counting again and again, yeah. you can draw boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can draw five times 26. So this is 130 boxes. Okay, mm -hmm. and then after you have drawn the box, you can transfer the 10 words given. Remember, mm -hmm. for summary, mm -hmm. you will be given 10 words, right? Yeah. Yep. So transfer one word for one 
box. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know you are uh, touching 130 words when you have completed all the Box. boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And then you have to identify the task. Again, what do you need to do? What do you need to find? Is it a, uh, is it a challenges? Is it problems? So you need to know the task. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask yourself, is it a step-by-step -step instruction? Is it uh, what the writer is doing mm -hmm. or what else? Okay, so you have okay. to know all the keywords. All right. All right. Okay, so this is the question. Mm -hmm. Maria and Jeffrey decided to stop watching television. Mm -hmm. Based on the passage, write a summary on what they did, mm -hmm. which improved their, their lifestyle. lifestyle. So lifestyle. you have to find what they did. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Of course, you, you know yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you can apply... I'm sure all the teachers around Malaysia know all these terms. Mm -hmm. We English teachers know, are very familiar with all these terms. So mm -hmm. you can use each, uh, the one that you are familiar with, okay? Okay. All right. So arrange your points according to the order in the passage. And of course, you need to know how to count the number of words. The mm -hmm. formula is very simple. What you see is, is what, what you, you get. get. Okay? So you don't have to... Do, uh, is this one word or is this two words? No, okay? Mm -hmm. One word... A is the sample example of one word. So this is considered as one word. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, heavy, and so on. Okay, if you have hyphenated word, this is considered as one. Okay? And the rest will be more than two words. Okay. Kuala Lumpur, two words. Hotel California, two words. Two words. Mm -hmm. What about KLCC? One word. Why one, one word? word? Because um, KLCC. It is, the it is a form, short, form short form of Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur Convention, Convention Center. Center. So how many words? Four. Four. four words. Oh, it stands uh, for four words. Yeah. Mm. So you have to know how to count the number of okay. words. All okay, right. so this is also important for students to know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the question. Mm -hmm. We are going to apply Bosia here. Okay, remember one paragraph? You can only find materials from line 16 to 42. 42. So you have to know this is the area that you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. You cannot find anything before 16 mm -hmm. or after 42. Mm -hmm. Okay? What happened if you accidentally took any points from line 15? Means we, our point is wrong because mm -hmm. we do not follow the instruction. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they will not touch your content point marks, but mm -hmm. they will touch your language marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, most probably they will put uh, outside the prescribed text. Mm -hmm. But so near means you have accidentally taken uh, content points outside the prescribed text. Okay. Okay, so be careful. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why you have to be careful. All right. Okay, box the area. Okay, now we are going to do B O S I S C I A, right? Mm -hmm. So B is st stands for boxing the, the text. text. You have to make the box from line 16 to line 42. 42. So let's say so let's say this is the 16 line. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have to draw the box. Okay. okay. So kita lukis daripada yes, number 42. Until line yep. 42. So you know your answers will be in this area. Area, only. yes. Okay, and then the next type is all right, so now we have done the B, boxing mm -hmm. the text. Now, the next step is O, right? O is o. odd ones counted. counted. What does it mean by odd one counted? Mm. Odd, what does it mean by odd? Odd. Okay, odd. Bahasa Melayu it's apa odd. Odd number. Odd number. Nombor yang... Ganjil. Ganjil. Genap. Odd, genap. genap, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have to underline the odd numbered sentences mm -hmm. in each paragraph, mm -hmm. okay, within that box. Ignore, remember, Ignore dialogues, dialogues as they are normally examples, elaborations or reinforcements to, to the, the points, points made, made in, in the, the text. text. Okay, let's say this is your text. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. which line should I cancel? Which one should I take? Odd ones counted. Okay. The couple. Yes, very good. So we will take this line. Couple. Okay, we will take this line until the word projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will not take this one. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, the next set of paragraph, same thing. Odd ones counted. So you will take? No. Why? Because it is the first. Odd is ganjil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you will take this one. All right. In place of television news, this is odd, so we, uh, we, we will not take this one, we will take the next one, mm -hmm. mm, and so on. So you have this already. Mm -hmm. So from the paragraph, you will take out the sentence. Mm -hmm. So this is content point two. So okay. this is the answer.
So without doing anything, you just take the you will get the point. So mm -hmm. this is one mark. All right. So if you have finished doing this, you will basically get the marks. Mm -hmm. So, But remember, this is suitable for those who have challenges. Okay. If you can understand, you can try other formula. formula. Okay, this one is catered for the ones who have challenges. All right. Okay, who have okay. problems understanding the mm -hmm. text. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions so far? So far, kalau kami jadi student pun, teacher, Alhamdulillah boleh jawab Alhamdulillah. dengan segala formula yang senang untuk digunakan Betul. dan kita untuk mungkin bagi hmm. saya yang dah lama tinggal ke SPM <laughs> saya macam baru jumpa formula tu sebab cikgu hmm. saya tak pernah memperkenalkan formula tadi tapi ianya memudahkan saya untuk menjawab. Hmm. Ya yeah, betul. Okay. It's hmm. there. Alright. Okay. So we have B, we have O, now hmm. we are at S. Okay. okay. So S, S is short and simple. simple. Remember how do you uh, make your sentence short and simple? You hmm. take out your Examples of relative clause. Oh, so sources. examples, when you see these words, they mm -hmm. are signals for uh, that the sentence are examples. So okay. you will cancel that one out. All okay. right. So like this one, he opted for other news sources like. So mm -hmm. like is one of the signal of examples. Okay. Okay. So you will cancel that one out. We just cancel it. Then how so the sentence gonna be? So this is the final version. Oh, okay. Because these are all examples. The, the keyword here is the word like, right? Okay. So this is the same the example telling you this is an example. Oh, means that teacher, if we just uh, we only write this the content point, we want okay. only the answer. If we write just the content, then we get one mark. One mark. Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> one mark. As okay. Simple as that. All right. Okay. So that's why I said you have to try to answer. Mm -hmm. Do not leave it blank or do not copy everything blindly. Yes. Okay? So give it a try. Mm -hmm. All right, next. Okay, we have finished S. Now we are doing C. Mm -hmm. So what is C? Or oh, this is a relative clause. Okay, we see the word. Have you seen these words? So these are all yes. relative Who's which word? clause. So you, when you see mm -hmm. a sentence with these, mm -hmm. so this is actually cancel. Cancel. So Cancel this is it. explanation. Mm -hmm. So the need, the one that we need is only sister. sister. Boy, help ma, me through, through my order. So this is your content point. Oh, itu lah dia. Is yeah. penting yang kita perlukan. Yes. Very simple and a short one to get a good mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now mm -hmm. we are see. at C. How do you connect the points? Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, you can use for, for and nor, nor but, but or yet, yet so. so. Fan? Fanboy. Fanboy, not fangirl. Yes. It's fanboy. <laughs> okay, so you can use this to connect all your points. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. that. So the moment you combine, I mean, you have to look at the context. Mm -hmm. okay, it must be the same context, okay? All right. So point one and point two, you use this. Usually the famous one will be N. Mm -hmm. Right? And so it is already a compound sentence. Okay, so I. B O S C, -C. I. 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 Okay, remember what I told you? You cannot use pronouns I. Me, we, we us. us. So you mm -hmm. look at the points again. Uh, can you find any I in your sentence? If you found uh, happen to see any I, mm -hmm. change it to uh, pronouns, other pronouns. If mm -hmm. you know the character is a male person, mm -hmm. you change to he. He, okay. If you know it's a she, uh, it's a girl, so you change to she. She, she. if mm -hmm. you don't know, if you know it's, it's more than one, you can use they. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what if you don't know? There's no clue at all. Maybe we can use such as the person? Yes, yes. very good. Mm -hmm. It can be the writer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so easy for you to remember, right? Yes. B O S C I. And finally, A. A. So, what is A actually? A is. All points mm -hmm. are point safe. safe. Okay? All points are safe means you have already found all the 10 points. Mm -hmm. So, it's your job to transfer to the boxes. boxes. So, yes. now you will have a complete. Content, ten, uh, ten content connectors. We spare the content, uh, the connectors, the fanboys just now, ten mm -hmm. words. So you will reach 130 words. Uh, the conclusion is we have to do a box for the students to make easy summary and not to exceed 130 30 words. words. Yeah. Yeah. Itulah dia, cara mm. dia. Untuk score juga, ya? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, 15 marks is a lot. Banyak, mm. sangat banyak. Itulah dia sebab tu kami dah pesan take note apa saja formula dan juga tips daripada mm -hmm. Cik Gusu hari ini yeah. untuk menguasai kertas bahasa Inggeris. Ya, yeah, betul? Okay, okay, now let's recall whether you have remembered or not. The formula mm -hmm. B is for boxing, boxing, boxing the, the text. 
O is for odd ones counted. S, S short and simple. C, connect as all. I, I is it me? And A. All, all points safe. safe. Okay, okay, now we remember all the formula given. Kita yang ingat. <laughs> yeah, betul. <laughs> okay, so basically this is your question in SPM, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you can use this one for planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, do not start yes. here. Try, start adding on the new pitch. Mm -hmm. So easy for the examiners to read your answer. Yeah. Okay? All right, next. Next we'll be okay, doing final section D. Section, mm -hmm. section D, literature. Part. Okay, so for literature part, we have poem, mm -hmm. one poem question, five marks. Okay, the answers usually will be in short answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have novel question, again, another 15 marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you have to write in a form of an essay, mm -hmm. cannot be in point forms. Okay, and you are given three novels because uh, different regions use different novels. Mm -hmm. Okay, and my advice is to spy, uh, spend around 45 minutes only. Okay? okay, so you have to plan very well because you only have two mm -hmm. hours, right? For this, this section. is the last section, right? Yes, yeah? this is the last section mm -hmm. for paper two. Again and again, the keyword for English paper read, read the, the question. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, moving on okay. to. After we read. Okay, uh. so these are the uh, Form 4 poems. We have learned this in Form 4. The Living Photograph, mm -hmm. The Church of the Light Brigade. Yes. And then for Form 5, you have... Okay, you have Poison poems. 3. Okay, and you also have What Has Happened to Lulu. So this is mm -hmm. the favourite ones, I think. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> do you still remember this? Of course I remember, teacher. <laughs> what Has Happened to Lulu, right? <laughs> Everybody would like to know that. Yeah, no one knows what happened to Lulu until now. Yes, no <laughs> one knows. So let's pray the best for her. Yes. <laughs> okay, so basically the questions are like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last question will be Hot's question. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. always asking you. What advice would you give to the persona and, and why? why? So usually, uh, again, the answer must be logical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, as from our opinion, right? Yes, advice. So mm -hmm. you are talking about your advice. You are giving advice to your friend. Okay. So it should be logical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So moving on, the next section. Okay, novel question. The last question for paper two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you are, if you. I want to score this part, of course, you have to know the characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, you need to know at least two characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, depending on the novel that you are doing. Okay, and then second thing is you need to know the plot, plot, the storyline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, like a drama, right? Right? Yeah. The yes. TV, mm -hmm. the introduction, the starting, and then the climax. Mm -hmm. So you need to know the story very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then finally, at least you need to know how to put it in uh, one. Paragraph. I mean, in one beautiful AC. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So let's see. Uh, allocation of marks. Ten for content, style and presentation. Five marks. Style and presentation. Grammar mm -hmm. is one uh, one sole individual marking. Mm -hmm. Okay. And presentation is another one. Okay. So they combine two marks, you they will get five, five marks. Okay. So the total is fifteen marks. Okay. So these are the. Novels that all uh, Malaysian SPM students are, are learning now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Dear Mr. Kilmer, Sing to the Dawn, and Captain Nobody. Nobody. Okay. This all right, so this is the novel. sample question. Uh, SPM 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are given three, three uh, novels. Novel. Of course, you have to choose the one that you have learned, right? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, what, what happened if you have learned uh, Dear Mr. Kilmer, you want to answer Sing to the Dawn? Oh, it's quite dangerous to do that. Yes. <laughs> don't try, don't take any risk during this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because uh, if you are, if your teacher has been teaching you the whole year, dear Mr. Kilmer, mm -hmm. please do not try or take or kill yourself <laughs> during SPM. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Okay. Now tell me, what are the keywords? What are the things that you need to answer for this question in order for you to get at least uh, the seven to eight marks? Mm, we have to know the character mm -hmm. and also the plot. Plot. Like teacher said just now, mm -hmm. and for this we have to describe a scene. Yes, you have to break the question into parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I always tell my students to come up with a checklist. Checklist. Yes, checklist. Okay, easy one. Okay, number one. So you have to describe a, a scene. scene. So this is number one. Okay, you have to ask yourself: Have I described a scene or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. a scene it can be any, any event any. or anything, any plot from the novel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have to choose whether you are happy. Or sad. or sad. And finally, give reasons. Reason. Okay, singular mm -hmm. or plural? 
Plural. Plural. So you have to give at least two. Two, two reasons. Two reasons. Yes. So I always mm. tell my students to do that. To do that. Analyze okay. the question so you don't miss anything. Because here, task fulfillment is very important. Mm -hmm. We need to see uh, all the, uh, the parts are answered, then you can get okay. the best marks. All right. Okay. All right. Any question, dear? So far, no, teacher, because right. that is very clear. Okay. Clear explanation from teacher. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, let's see. Let's see the how to answer the question. Okay. So this okay. is a sample. Okay. Just now we have the list checklist, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if all the checklist a tick, because you have given, uh, you have given. Uh, the feeling, mm -hmm. okay. You have given the scene. You have given the description. You have given the reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think? Okay. PR stands for uh, personal response. Your. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So if you can fulfill this, usually you will get good marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ask my students to do this when they uh, are answering this type of question. They will put a tick. Okay. I have answered this. I have answered this. I have answered this. And inshallah, if they can practice this. They will score high marks for novel part. Right. Yes, to do checklist. Yeah, very mm. simple one. Okay, and so on. All right. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. okay. Finally, Itulah we have dia. come to an end. Sangat banyak input yang diberikan. Yeah, mm -hmm. sangat padat ya yeah, sebenarnya tips dan juga panduan yang diberikan oleh daripada Cik Gusu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Baik, tapi sekarang ni kita nak tanya sedikit Cik Gusu kalau ada apa-apa pesanan yeah. buat calon-calon SPM yang akan menduduki peperiksaan tidak lama lagi. Maybe a last advice for the students to be prepared to sit for this paper soon? Okay. Uh, well, uh, as a teacher, mm -hmm. okay, uh, my advice is to calm down. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay, take your time, mm -hmm. okay, breathe in when you want to answer the question and read the question like we have practiced just now. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Do not be scared. Uh, the rest will you leave to God. Okay. Yes. Uh, try to remember what, what are the teachers have been teaching you mm -hmm. and pray to God. Okay, that's all. And good luck for SPL. All right. What a great lesson from our teacher today, Cik Gusu. Thank you so Terima much kasih, for your time and for all the knowledge you have given to us and also all the students out there. Jadi, Afi ada apa-apa nak kata? Itulah dia. Jadi, uh, saya rasa supaya apa saja tips dan juga panduan yang dapat diberikan daripada Cik Gusu pada hari ini, memanfaatkan untuk anda semua yeah. supaya mendapat keputusan yang cemerlang. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Jangan nervous. Apa-apa pun, tawakal. InsyaAllah. Yes. Dan paling penting, bahasa Inggeris tidak susah. Itu yeah. ya. Yeah. Baiklah. Jadi, kita akan jumpa lagi di episod seterusnya dengan mm. subjek yang lain dan juga yeah. bersama dengan Cikgu Pakar yang lain. Betul? Siapakah Cikgunya dan mm. apakah subjek seterusnya? Kita jumpa lagi di episod seterusnya semuanya dalam Didik TV. TV. Bersama saya, Wani Kerry. Bersama saya, Afiq Syazwan. Jumpa, jumpa lagi. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. <laughs>